Hey everyone, my name is Elliot. Today I'll be showing you a demo on how we can put a custom modal on a button click and you can adjust the custom modal to have whatever you want in it, whether it's a confirmation modal to move on to the next step or not, or just simply an informative modal. Either is possible with this demo. I'll run the service to show you how it looks. Here we have a button that says open modal and if I select it, the modal pops up with an icon telling me to enter a message. So if I enter in something, and then I can either continue on or I can just close the modal. I'll go ahead and just continue on. And then if I attach the boundary event to continuing on, we can move on to the next coach. If I return back to the designer, dive into the coach view, Within the coach view, we have a button here at the top, and underneath that we have a modal with a well, a vertical layout, an icon, an output text, a text control, a horizontal layout with two buttons nested inside, side by side. With the variables, we pass in a master button label, which is of type string, input label type string, positive button label type string, negative button label type string, modal icon type string, and then an input section visible of type string. If you'd like to learn more about how the modal control works, you can go to our support site at support.salientprocess.com forward slash spark dash UI dash controls where you can see a list of the modal and all other kinds of controls that are available within Spark. You can see an article to describing how the control works or you can look at JavaScript documentation that defines all the configuration options and methods available with the control. Returning back to the coach view, here you have the variables that we define bound to the various controls in this way. With the button, we have the master button variable defined to the label on the icon. We define which icon they want to show by binding the modal icon variable to the icon configuration option. Within the output text, they can say what the text says as instructions by binding the input label to the label. To the text control here, we have a visibility binding for input section visible and for both of the buttons with each label of the button we have the positive button label and then the negative button label. To get the modal to show when the button's clicked you go to the on click event of this button and then within here we reference the modal sections control ID and then call the show method. Again if you're unfamiliar with this method you can go to our support site go down to modal and then the JavaScript documentation, you can search up which method you want to look at. So in this case, we can look up show. And then click it, and it'll bring us right to where show is. And it says, shows this viewer control. Turning back to the coach view, once the modal is shown, then we have the two buttons. If we click the positive button under the on click event, we can have the modal section hide and then the same is true for the negative. By applying the configuration options, we allow customization on the modal. The modal does not have to be limited to just either an alert or the ability to enter a message. You can make it as complex as needed for your business. But if we go to the human service, we can change the current layout of the modal to not have a message be entered, but rather just have an alert. So we ask, We change the positive from a continue to yes, the negative from close to no, and then we hide the input section visibility. And then if we run the service, now when I click the modal, we have just an alert message where whether we can continue on or not. This concludes our demo. Thanks for watching and have a good day.